All right, Bobcats, so in this video, we're going to go over the production and the flow of bile. So the first thing is, where is bile produced? So bile is produced by the hepatocytes. So hepatocytes, this is found within the liver. So production of bile. And bile is stored within the gallbladder. So the entire uh, function of the bile is to emulsify fats. So when I say emulsify fats, what I mean is to break those lipid globules, break them apart as much as possible. And so the flow of, the flow of bile <clears throat> is, so one of the key points is how does the bile get into the small intestine? Because within the small intestine, this is where the nutrients are absorbed. So this is why we want to break it apart. So a specific region within the small intestine, which is known as the duodenum, this is primarily where absorption occurs. So this is where we're releasing it, the, uh, we're, this is where we're releasing the bile um, into the duodenum. Okay, well, how do we get to the point where we're releasing this bile? So it has to travel through something which is known as the common bile duct. And in order to get to the uh, common bile duct, you have uh, two of these particular structures that are going to, um, they're merging together at this point to form the common bile duct. So coming off of the gallbladder is what's known as the cystic duct. So you have the cystic duct, which is where um, bile is coming from, and then it gets to the common bile. And then you also have something which is known as the common hepatic duct. So the, the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct, both of those will, more, will merge to form the common bile duct. That's what then leads into the small intestine within the duodenum. Okay, so now we're going to backtrack. So I've already said that the hepatocytes, they produce the bile. Well, the bile uh, travels through what's known as the bile canaliculi. And this is something that we identified on the, the liver microanatomy. So after you get to the, from the bile canaliculi, it'll then travel to a particular structure, which is what's known as the which is known as the bile duct. More specifically, they add what's known as interlobular. So the interlobular bile duct, this is the last component which makes up the portal triad. So I'm going to write that here. So from the interlobular bile duct, it'll then get into uh, the next uh, particular uh, structure, which is known as, so you have the right and left hepatic ducts. So now that I've shown you the schematic of how bile is produced and where it travels, let's look at some of the different models. So this here is the bile canaliculi, so bile is flowing in this direction until it gets to the interlobular bile duct. So then from here, this is what will lead to the part within the liver. So if you look here at the liver, you have the right and the left hepatic ducts. So that's what leads to uh, number 54. Number 54, this is what's uh, known as the uh, common hepatic duct. So you have the common hepatic duct and then the cystic duct. Both of these are merging to form the common bile duct. So this here is the gallbladder. So you have the gallbladder, the cystic duct, and then once again this is the common bile duct. So then this is also found in our other model. If you look at, look at this here. So this is the um, pancreas and then you can see the common bile duct which is traveling here to empty into the first part of the large intestine which is where the duodenum is. So you can see the common bile duct there, and you can also see it here on the backside. And so 
Another thing to note is that, <clears throat> remember, whenever we look at it from here, so bile is produced here and then it flows downward, but the reason that it's able to get backed up here into the gallbladder is because the sphincters are closed um, here within the bottom of, the sphincters are closed here. So if these sphincters are closed, as the bile will flow down into the common bile, it then gets backed up and then it gets stored here um, within the gallbladder.